We won't get far towards a zero carbon energy future without a lot more of these. Huge banks of batteries connected directly to the electricity grid. So if there's instability in the grid or the shocks to the system, that's really where batteries comes in. And intermittent renewable energy is a critical part of our net zero future. Yeah. Um, but it has to be stabilised and batteries are one of the best ways or probably the best way at the moment. This battery at Cowley substation near Oxford is huge. It can store and release 50 megawatts of electricity, enough for thousands of homes. It's pioneering too, combining fast and powerful lithium batteries with a new type of liquid battery called a vanadium flow cell. Not quite as much oomph as lithium, but it can be charged and recharged almost infinitely without a loss of performance. It's a lower power density, but it really uh, complements the lithium-ion battery, enabling us to not only trade power, uh, but also manage frequency uh, in a much more efficient way, and also limits the wear and tear on the lithium-ion battery. Massive batteries like this are going to be increasingly important as we put more and more renewables onto our electricity grid to fill in the gaps on the days when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. But storage of power is also going to become more important as our demand for electricity rises. Take electric vehicles. This is Europe's most powerful electric car charging hub connected directly to the Oxford battery. Just as well, three cars plugged into these superchargers at the same time draw more power than 100 homes. If you add the demands of electrically powered air source heat pumps into the mix, you can start to see why electricity demand is projected to double by 2050. Are we going to need more storage like this? So we're going to need a lot more grid because um, the places where we need electricity and the big cities and the big industrial centres are not uh, normally near where the new supplies of electricity will be, which is where it tends to be really windy, offshore off the coast of Scotland. And while the government has been pretty clear in setting out its plans for low carbon electricity generation from things like more wind farms, how it's going to redesign the grid with all the backup power and storage we're going to need is less clear. We've got no time to waste, but the government has uh, recently put out a consultation on what that future electricity market arrangements might work, um, and that is a much needed step. What's really important for the new government coming in is that they do not lose any momentum, because the grid that we've got it at the moment is creaking a bit. It's under pressure, and therefore getting these reforms in place is absolutely, uh, and getting on with it is a really urgent, pressing issue for the new government.